Hi, I'm Rohit Kapoor. I'm a distinguished engineer at Cadence. Uh, I'm here to give you an introduction to TEST and talk about the Modus DFT software solution. So TEST is mostly about scan design. And uh, I'll start with showing you uh, what scan design is, and then I'll introduce the TEST solution from Cadence. So here is a design without any DFT or design for TEST. And uh, what you see here is combinational logic and some flip-flops. Uh, the flip-flops, of course, are fed from the combinational logic and feed back into the combinational logic. So for test, which is uh, when we implement scan design in test, what we do is we take all these uh, flip-flops and put them in a shift register, which we call a scan chain, so that we can scan in any value into these flip-flops and scan out any value from those flip-flops. As a result of that, for the purposes of test, this particular de design has become combinational. When it becomes combinational, it is easy to automate the automatic test pattern generation process, and uh, uh, the, it makes the ability to get high fault coverage very deterministic. So the reason scan design is very successful is it, it's because it bring, brings predictability to uh, the uh, uh, test solution and also is simple enough and easy to implement by the designers. Uh, now, in, in, uh, at Cadence, we support this with the DFT uh, Genus product. We insert the test logic, the scan chains, uh, through, uh, through Genus. And these scan chains, uh, of course, are not as simple as just what I showed you today. These scan chains have to follow many different rules. They have to follow all the design characteristics that are needed or design uh, carebouts like timing, low power, or power uh, UPF uh, uh, constructs. Uh, they have to worry about multi-bit flip-flops. And of course, uh, pre-existing scan chains. We, you don't want to uh, uh, have high area overhead, so you want to leverage the pre-existing scan chains that are in the design. Uh, today, scan chains uh, are now used in scan compression. Scan compression is the way we typically now test our designs, where we found that the test data volume and test application time requirements for scan had just escalated too much and we needed to add some compression logic to the uh, design. A scan compression in Genus uh, takes care of all the layout issues that uh, come from having uh, single points of uh, or high fan out nets uh, created by scan compression logic uh, be implemented in the design. Uh, wrapping is a popular concept used in test today. Uh, the Genus tool uh, supports all the standard uh, methodologies today that are there in the industry, like 1500 and 1149.1, to implement wrappers. Uh, test points is a technology used to improve the test coverage of a design in a logic-based environment or to improve the efficiency of scan compression uh, by, by adding more controllability and observability in the design itself. Uh, the test point uh, uh, solved by our uh, technology in Cadence uh, actually works very well with, between LBIST and scan compression, where it optimizes the results across the two. Memory BIST uh, is uh, the way all memories are tested today. Uh, the MODIS tool supports programmability and, of course, the redundancies in the memories for repair. Logic BIST is uh, very popular due to the automotive needs for online testing, uh, and uh, uh, that is uh, supported in Genus today. Uh, once you implement the DFT, we typically take the uh, output, the netlist from DFT, and put it into an ATPG uh, software, which in, at Cadence is called Modus. Uh, the netlist and libraries are read in. The first step that is done is to make sure that the DFT is implemented correctly. And that step is called design rule checking. Uh, the design rule checking, of course, uh, checks whether the scan chains are correct. Uh, they follow certain rules. Uh, for example, if there are multiple scan chains, do they shift in parallel? Uh, 
uh, after we make sure that the DRC is uh, the scan, uh, the shift registers all uh, correctly connected, we then move into building for a fault model and of course automatic test pattern generation and fault simulation. The output of an ATPG system is test patterns and in in ATPG, what we worry about is creating as few test patterns as we can for the highest fault coverage. Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I'd like to see you, uh, thank you for your attention. I'd like to see you in the next Whiteboard Wednesdays. Thank you.